So I'm in the combine here. We're combining dark red kidney beans. Um, this is our 2020 brand new picket combine. So the beans go in down there, go through the machine, out the back end, and then up to the top in them ladders, and then they're dropped into the tank so that they don't get damaged. There's little bucket layers in there to carry them up the ladders to get them into the tank. And here you can see there's a picture of the tank. There's a camera up in there so you can kind of tell when it's starting to get full. And we're getting pretty close to full here, so we're going to be dumping pretty soon. It's, it's kind of dirty out there. we got a northwest wind and I'm going to the east, so I'm kind of getting the blunt of a, of a lot of dirt chat. So, anyway. We got several monitors in here. That's the monitor for the tractor. That's the monitor for the combine. That's another monitor for the combine. And these are the pictures you can do with different screens. You can uh, see those are the beans falling through the back end of the combine that go into the auger that takes them up to the top of the grain tank. So you can switch and you can watch each side. There's two cameras, one for each side. There's two rotors in the machine, so there's, there's two separate cleaning systems in there. Then you can watch out the back end. There's Todd out behind us and you can make sure everything's working and you're not uh, being chased by any wild animals. So that's kind of cool. We're out here by the Crow Wing River. The Crow Wing River is right there behind all them trees. So it's kind of picturesque up here. But I think I'm going to bring her down to a stop. And we're going to shut the machine down. And then we're going to have Todd pull up beside us here. Those beepers, they get kind of annoying, but we can shut them off once everything's slowed down. That's better. So, now we're just waiting for Todd. He'll pull up beside us. Oh, there he comes. Yep. And then, then we... Uh, Pick the tank up with the hydraulics and hopefully Todd got the box lined up right so they don't fall on the ground. That's not a good thing. We don't have semis out here because we're back in the stick kind of and the semis can't get in and out of here so we got to put them in boxes and then uh, haul them up in the yard and load semis that way. But there go the beans. Oop, Todd pull that a little bit. A little bit more. Don't want to spill them. So the tank will hold about 20,000 pounds. So, I mean, you get three dumps like this and you pretty much got your semi full. And we got the wagon full too. You can see the beans up in the top coming through. So, another load done. Todd must have a message or he's gonna check something out there. So, here we go. Looking at the beans, gonna level them off so they don't fall off the sideboards. Don't want to lose any money. Don't want to lose any money on the ground. So try to save everything we can. All right. Well, that's kind of the edible beans going on for today.